I'm drinking Mott's apple juice today. If the lighting is so bad, um, let's just let's just pretend we're hanging out and we don't care about lighting at all. Hi guys, it's Adria. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys all had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm actually filming this on New Year's Eve. I had to wait a little bit to film this because I didn't have all of my gifts. Um, but as of last night, I officially have everything. So this is my what I got for Christmas 2023. Let me know down below what your favorite gift that you got this year was. Oh, there's one that really stands out to me. I may save that for last because it's uh, it's really exciting and it's like a big girl gift. You know when you're finally like an adult and you get like appliances? Yeah. <laughs> I just got these lights. My good ones burned out and I accidentally got LED ones and I kind of hate them and I think they're like flashing on camera. So uh, let's just pretend they're twinkling. <laughs> subscribe so first to start off we got some Christmas cards and uh, we got one from Brandon's aunt and uncle in the mail who live in Florida so we didn't get to see them for Christmas and then I got one from my great aunt and my great uncle along with some sugar cookies which my great aunt makes the best sugar cookies Brandon put a few things in my stocking <laughs> we were gonna do stockings this year we ended up not um, he just like put some chocolate that we had in our fridge <laughs> just like in my stocking. And uh, we have this running joke about uh, Vienna sausages. He put one of these in my stocking, knowing I won't eat it, but uh, just put it in there anyway. Stockings are like always my favorite thing at Christmas. Like I always love just like Christmas morning opening up the stocking. And then we realized like we forgot to do stockings. So he just, he just took some things we already had and just shoved it in my stocking. And I'm like, that's fine. I'm just gonna reach in and pull things out. So it's not gonna be in like any order really. So one of the first things in here is this new beanie. I was in desperate need of a new beanie. I don't know how Brandon's mom knew this, but uh, it's this new Carhartt beanie and it's in baby pink, which love. So with my family, we did like a secret Santa and um, my sister Allie had me. One of the things she got me was this flannel that I'm wearing. Ew, ew, don't you hate these? They, like, I cut these out of every shirt. Why do they, why do they make these? Like, just stop. So she got me this little flannel. This was on a wish list of mine. I absolutely love it. What's this print called? Gingham? Gingham. Ging Gondam style. <laughs> ew. And she also got me, this is so exciting. I had this on my wish list for like two years. She got me a cereal bowl candle, which like, ah, like, oh, is my tongue blue? <laughs> I didn't even realize my tongue was blue. I just had a Jolly Rancher. Um, so she got me this cereal bowl candle. Look at it. Look, it has a little spoon. It kind of smells coconutty. Like it smells like coconut milk, which I don't mind. And it has these little wax melts that look like Fruit Loops and you just put them in when the candle's lit. I'm so excited to try this. Like what? I can't get distracted. I have too much to go through. I can't get distracted. There's the social medias if y'all wanna check it out. Oh, it looks like they have Lucky Charms as well. So yeah, we just have three skincares from The Ordinary, which, um, you know, like your girl's 30, like hello, help. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Allie. So we weren't doing like gifts for everyone because we were doing the secret Santa, but my sister Liv texted me like a few days before Christmas, like, oh, hey, I got you something. And I was like, oh, okay. Oddly enough, she got me the same thing that my secret Santa, her twin got. They both got me the Fruit Loops candle. And I was like, what? Like, how did you guys like not, they didn't even, converse about it at all like they had no idea so I also have a mini version of the Fruit Loops candle. Liv felt so bad she's like oh I like I wish I had known I would have got you something else and I'm just like well now I have two of the same candle so if I end up loving it I have two of them so it's fine. I do not mind having two of the same thing. When was that ever a problem? <laughs> oh my gosh so Brandon got me a ton of makeup. So there's gonna be a lot of makeup throughout this, but if y'all are on TikTok, if y'all are the TikTok girlies, that Lana Del Rey lipstick was like all over my feed. It was sold out and Brandon got it for me. Ah! <laughs> I'm like, I'm a low key Lana Del Rey fan. I actually love Lana Del Rey, but um, yeah, the little Lana Del Rey lipsticks. 
And y'all, if y'all don't know about this, get ready for your mind to be blown at this packaging. Even if you're not a makeup lover, I think you'll appreciate this. It looks like a little carton of cigarettes. The lipsticks look like little cigarettes. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm keeping this in my purse. Like you have to keep this in your purse. It looks like a little pack of cigarettes. Like I don't smoke. I never would smoke. I think smoking's gross, <laughs> but I'm like, this is so aesthetic. This is so cute. The girls that get it, get it. Do you think we'll be in love forever? Okay, so really there was two main things I wanted for Christmas. I wanted Converse sneakers and I wanted like makeup. I just want to make up and like skincare, that sort of thing. That was really all I wanted. But um, Brandon went crazy <laughs> on the NYX website. He got me a bunch of makeup. So uh, first up we have this NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, which, you know, we got like some warm, it's kind of giving like fall. It's kind of like, yeah, it's like late summer fall vibes, just warm. And he picked all of these out himself, which I was like so impressed by that he knew me well enough to like pick these. Then we have the Ultimate Warm Neutrals, which that is so cute. This is what I have on today actually. And this is the Ultimate Vintage Jean Baby, which it's like, it seems a little intimidating because there's like blues and stuff in there. Um, but I just did like a low key, like just like, I didn't go crazy today. I was even gonna wear like fake lashes today and I'm like, I'm not doing all that. Like, you know, I'm trying to just be like cozy today, whatever. And then this one I'm probably the most excited about. It's the ultimate, I know that's bright color palette. And so many times I've gone to do like a fun, funky, colorful makeup look and I don't have anything like this. Like. I never think to get the clown makeup palettes, you know? For some reason, all the fun colors are out, you know, and like the clean girl aesthetics in, but it's like, we're bringing it back, girls. We're bringing it back in 2024. We're bringing back the bright, fun makeup. Like, who cares? I'm at the grocery store and I have green sparkly eyeshadow on. Sue me. And I also have on this lipstick today. This is the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick. This lighting is going to be the death of me. It has been so dark and dreary. I. I can't like this, this whole like winter break time is just like, why has it been dark and rainy and cloudy and like disgusting, but it's kind of a vibe, I guess. We also have, oh my gosh, Brandon went too crazy. So we have the NYX High Shine Gloss Trio. It's like a little holiday pack, just so cute. Maybe it'll make me feel less washed out on this camera. I really like the applicator, it's really soft work okay <laughs> love that love that okay i think i'm gonna really like those then we oh my gosh i like freaked out when i opened this y'all go uh check out my vlog i posted like christmas eve and christmas day like opening gifts and stuff over on my vlog channel adria vlogs so go check it out uh this i like freaked out about it is the barbie the movie jumbo eye pencil i told brandon specifically i'm like i really like the nyx jumbo eye pencils they're really fun um, cause I have a black one and a white one, but I'm like, they come in different colors. There's like fun colors. So he probably saw the Barbie movie one and was like. So there's a pink one and a baby blue one. I'm going to go nuts. Y'all, I'm going to be walking around with clown makeup. I don't even care. <laughs> then it also came with a free sample of the NYX Blur foundation. I, I'm so picky about my foundations anymore. I feel like I've, like, I'll try this. I'll see how I feel, but like. I use like $50 foundation and that's like, that's what I stick with. So I swear by this, I swear by this, putting this on before your makeup, you will literally look at least five years younger. This is the Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion. It's expensive girl, it's like $80, but. And listen, if you're like 12 years old, don't bother. Like you're young, but if you're like, you know, if you're one of the, the, the girls that's getting older, like invest, invest in this. Just trust me. It literally like blurs your skin. If you have like little fine lines, pores, anything, it just, it, it blurs it. So I, I love this stuff. I actually screamed when I opened this. I was, <laughs> that's when you know you're old. You're <laughs> you get skincare. You're like, uh, my sister Liv and I are starting a podcast. Go subscribe to the Well All Right podcast. I believe Liv set us up on Spotify as well. So if you listen to podcasts there, you can follow us there or there's a YouTube channel, the Well All Right podcast. We're gonna be starting that up in January. So I needed a microphone stand. So Brandon got me this uh, microphone stand. And I don't think it was very expensive on Amazon. This just like generic brand, but like I already set it up and it's like 
heavy duty. It is nice. I really like it. It moves around really easily. Uh, it's odd. I'm not using it today. I don't really use my microphone for this channel because this is just low key. We're not doing like the whole production thing. <laughs> So also for the new podcast, Brandon got me a backdrop. I've been wanting a new backdrop for a while. I just wanted something like fresh and new just to kind of like, I don't know. I feel like I need to switch up my filming area every few years or so just to keep it fresh. He got me this cute pink and cloudy background. It looks really cute. Brandon's mom got me a million pairs of socks, which, you know, you can't go wrong with socks. I never buy myself socks because I always just assume that people gift them to me for holidays. Bunch of winter socks. She also uh, gifted me a scarf, but it's already in my coat closet because I've already been wearing it. So not pictured, but <laughs> see, I'm making a mess in my living room. Holy Oh, here's another makeup thing that was at the bottom of this box. So Brandon, <laughs> Brandon's like, I went a little crazy on the NYX website and I'm like, Brandon, you literally got like a million things. He got the NYX butter glosses in like this brown nude, this like more pinky tone nude, and then in red. I've been working at like decluttering like my old makeup, especially lipsticks. Cause like, I feel like old lip stuff is just the most gross thing. I don't care about like eyeshadow palettes, that's all fine, but stuff you put on your lips, that's, that's, let's, let's be serious for a minute. Please throw out your old lipsticks, girl. This bag is all from my mom. She gave me some Ghirardelli chocolate squares, which I did so much freaking chocolate, you guys. Help. Orbit gum. So we have like gummy bears, lemon drops, cinnamon gummy bears, and then Brandon already opened these. Just normal gummy bears. One of my favorite candies of all time is Smarties. Ever since I was a kid, these are one of my absolute favorite candies. Um, give me Smarties. I'll love you forever. It's fine. She also gave me this little, is this a snowman? Is this Santa? It's like a little Santa pen. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> I'm like, this is so cute. I love pens and stuff. I, I'm a stationary queen. This is so cute. It's a little coaster, which I'm like, this is so cute. What a cute stocking stuffer idea. Capital Earth Rugs is the brand. And it's just a little sunflower coaster. I could put my teacup on that. That's so cute. Um, okay, so my mom is obsessed with lavender and she has gotten me into lavender stuff as well. I actually took a trip uh, with her to a lavender farm. Y'all, lavender smells so good. I don't need to tell you, but... <laughs> I'm sure you already know. You're like, girl, we know what lavender smells like. So she got me, since she knows I'm a big tea drinker, this is a honey lavender stress relief soothing serenity blend. I'm like, I, I cannot wait to try this. Then we have, so they're like in these little gift bags and these are like homemade lavender things. Lavender Stress Away Salve. Apply a small amount to the temples, pulse points, behind the ears, or on the chest, neck, taking care to avoid delicate areas. Take a deep breath and feel, ooh, so it's like a stress relief salve. That's really, girl. My mom's like, girl, I know you're stressed. <laughs> my mom's like, Adria, are you okay? <laughs> ooh, Lavender Natural Perfume. And my personal favorite, the Organic Hand Sanitizer. Ah, do I have a cut on my hand? Ugh. When you find out the hard way. <laughs> Probably my favorite gift of the year. My mom got me a Ninja indoor grill. She was like, what do you and Brandon need? Like, what do you guys want? And I'm like, okay. So we were at the mall like a couple months ago and you know you're old when you go to the mall and you're at JCPenney and you're looking at the appliances and stuff and like, wow, look at this wok that I can cook in like, you know, that, that's where I'm at. So we were looking at, you know, appliances and stuff. We found this Ninja grill at JCPenney. And I said to my mom, I'm like, listen, you don't have to get us anything else. I'm like, this can be my birthday for next year. You don't have to get me anything for 10 more years. Like this is, <laughs> like, this is literally all I want. Brandon and I cooked chicken on it for the first time the other night without a word of a lie. It is the best chicken I've ever had. It has like a smart thermometer feature where it doesn't let you overcook or undercook, which <laughs> I'm afraid of raw chicken. So like that's, <laughs> it was fantastic. I am like, I am in love with this. It is probably one of the best gifts I've ever been given. So thank you, mommy, for my Ninja Grill. I will be making you chicken. This is literally the best chicken I've ever had in my life. Mm. 
my other favorite gift we'll save for last so growing up when i was in sixth grade my favorite shoes were converse i wore them every single day i had a black pair and a pink pair and sometimes i wear a black one and a pink one and like it was just a vibe but the black were my favorite converse go with everything they never go out of style they're cute they're brandon got me converse i did not think i was getting them because like i knew brandon got me makeup like i just i knew that he did but like um when i saw this wrapped it just looked really small you know what i mean like it looked too skinny to be shoes i actually thought this was my microphone stand so i was like oh i don't think i got the shoes and i even said to my mom i was like oh all i wanted was converse and i don't think brandon got them for me that's okay i'm not gonna say anything like it's fine i was I, it's really fine but i got my converse <laughs> i have not had these since i was like 12. then i had like all these issues with my knees like when I was around 12 and I went to a chiropractor and he was like, oh, don't wear these. They don't have any arch support, which I mean, like true, like you're not wrong, but also I'm like, I'm going to live my life. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, honey. Yeah. All in all, it was a really, really good Christmas. I feel this year was like above and beyond. I mean, even our Christmas Eve dinner, like my mom did all these games, like she did like raffle giveaways and things. We want like a Ghirardelli pack thing. I just felt like an overabundance of like, I have so much and I'm so grateful. Like all month, the gifts in our living room were just piling up, which that has never happened. <laughs> like normally we have like a couple gifts sitting out. Like we had a mountain of gifts this year. People always get in these videos like, I'm not bragging. I don't really understand that. Why, why get in a haul video? Like guys, I'm not bragging. It's like, what, what would be a brag? Like it's just gifts. It's, unless you got a house, that feels like a brag. <laughs> in this day and age, that's a brag. <laughs> I'm still filming. That's okay, sorry. That's okay. Gym was closed. It was closed? Yeah, they closed that one. Guys, Brandon's the only Goomba that would try to go to the gym on New Year's Eve. <laughs> I was telling them how you went overboard with the makeup. Oh, did I? Got too much? No, like, I, you can't have too much makeup. You actually got back, like, just in time. <laughs> I was watching through the window. It looked good. Hey, guys. Hi, sweetie. So what did we get for Christmas? What was your favorite gift this year? Would you like to show them? It's a goose. I got this for Brandon. It's a goose. It's a goose. You can dress them up <laughs> for seasonals. My brother got a goose and I was so jealous of his goose. I wanted one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Let me know what your favorite gift that you got this year was. I hope that this has been a good time of year for everybody. I know that it can be hard for some people. I hope that nonetheless you were able to enjoy some Christmassy movies or some food, time with family, maybe some time off from work. Whatever you have going on, I hope that 2024 brings you lots of love and good health and uh, maybe a better economy. <laughs> Word. I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, pan hugs. I love you guys. Bye.